I am a grateful child. Sincerely grateful from the heart I am. Sincerely. Me. I am grateful. But my mind is most worried, most afraid, most negative. Worried and afraid of the negative scenarios that will never happen. But I'm not my mind. But I am sincere child. I am truly grateful from the heart, you know. Really, God knows. And gratitude is the ultimate state of receiving. I'm not speaking as a master here, master of this. I'm speaking as a student who is mastering gratitude. Because gratitude is the ultimate state of receiving. I realized if I can be grateful for what I don't have and what my heart desires, fulfilled in gratitude within me, then it happens. It comes to me in mysterious ways, out of gratitude from the heart. You know, Gratitude, we are grateful for. So we receive, we are fulfilled. It's the truth in being, so truth attracts truth. And we attract it. And when I'm crying for what I don't have, then I'm crying for what I don't have. In separation from it. And when I say this, mind is very crazy. Because... I know I'm in the unknown. I don't know what tomorrow brings. I know only that I'm grateful from the heart. I am grateful and mind is crazy. Mind cannot be grateful. You know? We cannot be grateful. We are just lamenting and being a victim that we don't have it. And we push it away further because vibration of not being grateful attracts more not to be grateful for, you know. But vibration of being grateful attracts everything that we are grateful for, you know. And I'm so grateful and I could be very ungrateful now. Because for four months, my life is really low quality. I'm in a bed. But I'm grateful. I'm grateful for everything. I'm grateful for life. I'm grateful for the unknown. And I'm really grateful. I'm grateful that I can do, give you my word, you know, that I can do this for this phone, for that internet connection, for the computer, for everything. I am grateful, you know. You see me in the bed, but you see me unusually brown now. At the beginning of the spring. Because I'm grateful for the sun. I couldn't make a video outside. But I was meditating one hour in the sun. Being grateful. Grateful for the sun I am. So much. Are you grateful for the sun? It gives us life. I'm grateful for mother nature. Damn it. I can literally. I will make a video soon. That you will see that I need five minutes from here in the apartment building to the forest. I'm grateful for that. Grateful for abundance of Mother Earth, Mother Gaia. And grateful that I literally have to take just few steps. And I'm in abundance in Mother Nature. And Mother Nature is so abundant. And I'm so grateful. That I can be barefoot on the ground. 
that I just take few steps and I'm in a forest even when I don't feel okay. I'm grateful for the birds, for the sky, for the forest, for fresh air. I'm so grateful. And now the trees will give fruit and I take fruit all over the village. And I'm so grateful, you know, I'm so grateful. Like my friend told, uh, he was driving me to Maribor two times. And he wanted me to arrange something for him. I said I could not. And yesterday I found out that on Monday I can. And I told him on Monday I can. And he said, uh, Purna, it's over. It's over. I needed that day, not today. I say the gratitude is never over. I could not arrange you. I can arrange you in Monday. You just have to know that I'm grateful. And that's why I'm telling you. Now I can, and in this way I can, because I'm grateful. People are not grateful, you know. People are helping me. They drive me somewhere. I'm grateful, really grateful. Grateful I am, because they don't have to. And I'm grateful for what I do. You know. And everyone, whoever helps me, I let them know how grateful I am. People are not grateful, people take it for granted. I know that what they give me is a gift. And I'm so grateful, you know. I'm grateful for you, for loving me, for loving the word that I am. And not giving me your mind. Thank you, family. I'm grateful for anyone who ever helped me, whoever helps me. In any way, if you offer to me a do donation, I never forget. I'm grateful all my life. I can be only grateful now. And I can give you my word. And maybe my word is very much valuable to you and you are grateful. We are grateful. I'm grateful as you are grateful. But I know that what goes around comes around and tables flip around. If you flip them, then everything comes back. Like Godfather said, maybe one day I will need a favor from you. So, people are helping me. They drive me somewhere. You give me do donation. You keep the art of the word and I'm going. But what go goes around comes around. In mysterious ways, everything is returned one day. In the unknown. I only know that I'm grateful. And I don't forget anyone who helps me. And those who really help me. And support the art of the world that I am. I never forget you. I don't know how. But I know that everything. Is returned. From the heart. In giving we receive. And I never forget. And there will come a day. When I will give you. You are already grateful now. And you will be grateful then. Because I'm grateful. And gratitude is eternal. You know, and I don't know how, I don't know when, but in mysterious ways, in a way we never expected, everything returns and comes back. I just know I don't forget. I don't know what future brings, but I'm grateful. And to whom I'm grateful. If I can, I do what I can, when I can. Now I give you my word. And this is what I do. And you are grateful for the word that I am. But I don't know what future brings. I just know that I'm grateful. And I want to give even more. 
than just the word that I am. To those that I'm grateful for, I'll never forget them. Those who help me, support me, and like my, like the beautiful, some ladies support me always. You know, thank you from the heart. You keep the art of the word that I'm going. And my best friend, he gives me his mind. He says his mind in me. But I'm so grateful for him. You know how grateful I am for him. You cannot imagine how grateful I am for him. Now he has no car. But I'm missing him. He was always driving me everywhere that I needed to go. Everywhere for free. He came to me and drove me. Now he don't have a car. So I can appreciate him more. And be grateful more. Because who would drive me everywhere that I want. Even so far away. I want nothing. His mind is troubled. But I'm so grateful for him. And in the absence of his service. When I needed help most, I appreciate him more. I'm grateful for him more. And when he gets a car, I'm to be more grateful and appreciate it more. I will not take it for granted. I'm not taking your don donation for granted. You don't have to give. You give from the heart. Gift of love. I'm just so grateful. Tables are to flip, working on myself at the right time. I am to help all those who are helping me and I'm so grateful for. I don't know how, I don't know when, but in mysterious ways, as we never expect, everything comes back, giving we receive. I'm just so grateful, you know. So grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful that I am maintained in mysterious ways. Grateful for the food, abundance of food, abundance of clean water. I am grateful for the roof above my head, for the clean water, for the warm apartment that I maintained in mysterious ways. I'm just grateful, you know, grateful I am, I am in really painful condition, like Buddha said, life is suffering, the body is temple of suffering and temple of divine, yet I'm grateful for this condition, because now I can change myself, I can be more sweet, I can be more loving, I can understand and feel people more. I can stop being so, how to say, always acting like a Zen master, whatever they say. But I can be sweeter. I can be kinder. I can be more grateful and express more love. And if I would not be in this condition, really, literally months in bed, well, not, I go with Mother Nature. I would not be changing. I would not become more sweeter, more polite, more kind. I had to get knocked out so I can change to better. Out of this darkness rises brightest light, love, truthful and sincere. So I'm grateful for this. Because this is to make me into a great master and attract to me everything that my heart desires out of gratitude and being. You know, I'm a child. I'm sincerely grateful for everything 
And I don't forget. I don't forget. I remember. I am grateful from the heart. But I was raised by grandmother who was worried that we will die uh, of lack, that we will get homeless, that we will lose our home. And I was living in the most poor conditions. And she was worrying overnights about survival. So my mind is programmed, most afraid, most worried. Afraid of that I'm gonna lose that, I'm gonna lose life, I'm gonna lose my apartment, I'm gonna lose being maintained, I'm gonna lose everything. Mind is just projecting these fears and worries. But you know what? I'm not my mind. I'm grateful from the heart. And we are in this together. We are mastering gratitude. Mind cannot be grateful. We are not the mind. Mind is always worried and afraid, projecting the most negative scenarios that never happened anywhere but in the mind. I'm not my mind. And I'm not speaking this, teaching this as a master of this truth. I'm speaking this as we are in this together, as a child that is learning to be grateful, you know, and not to follow my mind and fears and worries. Mind cannot be grateful, but my mind is most negative, full of fear, full of worries, you know. But I see, if I can be grateful for what my heart desires, for what I don't have, it comes to me out of gratitude. Gratitude is the ultimate state of receiving. Miracles happen. If I cannot be grateful, I'm always grateful. This never happened, I cannot be grateful. Regardless of what mine is doing, I'm always grateful. So I'm always to receive what I'm grateful for from the heart. But you know, mine is... Mind, mind, mind. If I'm crying for what I don't have, then I'm just crying from what I don't have. And separation from it, pushing it away. Gratitude is the state of being, state of fulfillment. I have it. I'm grateful for. So when I'm grateful for what is, an eternal moment in the kingdom within, and is not manifested in time and space, then I'm attracting what I'm grateful for. You know? I see this. And when I'm crying that I don't have it, lamenting and separation from it, I'm pushing it more away. We attract the truth. Truth is in being. What we are, the vibration, we attract. Emptiness attracts more of what we don't have. Experience more than we don't have. Not being grateful attracts more not to be grateful for. You know? But to be grateful attracts everything that we are grateful for. The vibration, the truth in the eternal moment may not be manifested now here, but it is fulfilled in our being. We are grateful for it now. We attract it. It comes to us out of gratitude from the heart. And we follow that fear. We follow that worry. We lament and cry. We push everything 
what our heart desires away from us. More lack. Lack attracts more lack. Allah. I give you my word. I give this word to myself. Because I'm learning. I'm mastering this. I'm learning. I'm mastering this. Gratitude from the heart. And I'm always grateful child, sincere child. I'm so grateful that my mind is most negative, most worried, most afraid. No. So when I can be grateful for the healing, I am to be healed. And gratitude and being here. I'm just lamenting that I'm not healthy and I'm attracting more of not being healthy my way. You know. I'm a master of what I master, like being myself with no guilt and fear, psychology, uh, no resistance, no control, no force, no opposition. I accept myself with no guilt and fear. I'm free of birth and death. I'm master of this. But hey, 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 this is just beginning stage. My mind is completely crazy. I'm learning change my mind. I'm learning to deprogram the negative mind and I'm learning that in gratitude for what I'm being and what I don't have now here, things that are my heart desires come out of gratitude and out of worries and fears in the mind and out of not being grateful, only more not to be grateful comes from I'm mastering this, I'm learning this. To be grateful from the heart and never mind the mind most negative and pro programmed. You know, I'm truly grateful. God knows. Whoever does anything for me, I'm always grateful. I never forget. I remember even when somebody years ago gave me something. If they would come now, I would remember immediately. I would say thank you. People are not grateful. People take it for granted. But sometimes people meet me after a year or two and I remind them, I'm so grateful what you did for me. You didn't have to. I'm grateful. You know, I met a priest and... I told him how grateful I am. I told him I'm grateful that I can meditate next to church, next to a forest, where I can sun gaze and I can look at the eye of God with my eye and there's church, divine energy behind me. Nature is nature, but energy in front of the church and in Mother Nature and in Father Son, that's everything I can wish for. I can sun gaze, I can meditate, and I can be next into the church in modern nature. I said to him, I'm grateful that I can meditate on your lawn. This means everything to me. I said to him, I maybe not follow all the nonsense of government that the church is obliged to follow. But I always agree with Jesus. And I'm grateful for you. You are we didn't have better priests ever, I told him. I told him, I remember what you did two years ago. I was hitchhiking. You didn't see me. And after 20 minutes, you came back. You didn't know if somebody else picked me up. You didn't know anything. You came back. And you told me, 
I didn't see you. I'm sorry. I would pick you up. And I said to him, family members, best friends would not do this. They would just send me message. Oh, I saw you, but I didn't. I was spaced out, so I didn't pick you up. They would apologize, maybe. But you, you literally came back for me. I said, who would do this? I will never forget what you did for me. Never, ever. Because no one would do this to me. Thank you from the heart. And one lady, you don't want to know the name, but helping me through years so much, always. You don't have to, but you do. And what I give you, I only give you my word. My word that I'm so grateful. Really. Because you don't have to. And you do. Source maintains me in mysterious ways. Out of gratitude from the heart. You know. I never forget. In giving we receive. Maybe you receive even more. Than you could ever give. But no. I never forget. And... I don't know how, I don't know when, but in the unknown, in the eternal now, everybody helping me will experience my gratitude. I don't know how, but everything comes back. I know that I'm grateful, and the tables flip, and I never forget and those that are helping me. I'm so grateful. When I can, I'm going to give you only my word, my teachings. Although you say this is all you need and it changed your life. I am to do what I can when I can. Because I'm grateful. And out of gratitude from the heart I'm maintained. And I'm really grateful from the heart. I am grateful from the heart. I'm not my negative programmed mind. My brother driving me and helping me. I feel you will get a car now. I will be more grateful and appreciate you more because you don't have to. You who always help me in any way, all of you, I don't forget. I give you my word. You will experience my gratitude. In a different way. I don't know how. I don't know when. You know even this life. But I feel yes. And everything comes back. And giving we receive. And I'm grateful. I want to give to those that I'm grateful for. And I give you my word. I'm grateful. I'm not my mind. Negative. Afraid. Worried. Mind cannot be grateful. We follow the mind, we never receive what our heart desires. But I'm grateful for everything I have, every little thing, every great heart in my life. You, thank you from the heart. And I'm grateful for everything what my heart desires. Although this is so difficult because mind is crazy, showing us what we don't have and why we don't have it and what we need needs. But in my kingdom, I'm grateful for everything what my heart desires. And out of mastering gratitude, being gratitude, everything what my heart desires is to come to me. Out of being grateful for, we are grateful for it. We receive it. We are being it. We are grateful for it. We are attracting it. We are lamenting I'm grateful that we don't have it. We push it away. My mind is crazy negative, but I'm sincerely grateful from the heart, I'm not my mind. Thank you, and thank you for your love, thank you for your joy, thank you for love that feels right.
Thank you that you never give me your mind. Thank you for the love. I mean, I'm not grateful for the mind. I'm allergic to the mind. But it doesn't mean that every word that people write is the mind. Mind controls. Uh, forces, resists, opposes, and it's just knowing what is in the mind program. But love comes from the heart. Never mind. It can be put in words, can be put in actions, can be put in emoticons, because love is the vibration of truth. I'm grateful for your love. I'm grateful that you love the art of the world that I am, crazy man that I am. You think that you are grateful for me. Well, I'm grateful for you. Really. From the heart of hearts, I'm grateful, baby. For everyone. I'm really grateful. If you take the word that I am to your heart, get the answer within it. It has nothing to do with me. Never mind. You follow your heart. You follow the answer. You follow the answer within you and you take the word that I am to be grateful, to follow your heart, to find the truth within you and to make yourself a better person. I don't really care if you praise me. Those who praise me, they blame me. They say, ah, uh, the blessings, uh, brother Buddha. I what you I didn't ask for you come to my class first you blessing me but you come for blessing and you telling me brother and you don't know me and you telling me Buddha I don't care for that it's not about me word that I'm not about me word that I am if you take the word that I am to your heart and reveal the truth in your being and you become greater truth greater master you work on yourself it's not about me the answer is within you and you take the word that I am to your heart it helps you to be better self I give you my word I'm grateful for that I'm not grateful for people praising me they will blame me I like my fans and like this is the mind just people pleasing and you know mine always sees in others what you don't see in yourself. They say me blessings, brother Buddha, but they come for my blessings and they need it, they come for it. And I teach so they can become their self as they feel, accept their self fully, so they can become Buddha. It's not about me. Mine always wants to give what you don't have to those who have it, so you never receive it. You know, you keep your mind not about me it's about you for you becoming a greater truth accept yourself fully and completely and if you do that you take the heart of the word that I am to your heart you get an answer within you follow your heart it helps you to better self to be yourself with no guilt and fear I'm grateful for you I want you to be greater than I am I am just a little child that is grateful and I'm grateful for those who take the word that I am, are grateful for the word that I am, take the word that I am to their heart to become a better true themselves. Thank you. I do this for you. Thank you from the heart. I give you my word. I'm grateful for every little thing, every great heart, and everything while my heart desires. Thank you. Thank you. I give you my word. And if anybody wishes, I you want to offer support to the art of the world that I am, you know that I'm so grateful from the heart. Really grateful I am. Really. In giving we receive, I never forget you. Maybe you receive, I mean, you give a donation support to a class because you get answer within, you get some value. And you receive, or you know, you are grateful. And I'm grateful for you. You don't have to give. You keep the art of the world that I'm going. You're always welcome. I put my PayPal down there. You know, I cannot save you. I cannot heal you. I have to save and heal myself. 
I can only be grateful. And I am grateful. And I'm so grateful I want to give you something. And I'm allergic to the mind. Don't chat with me. I will not save you. I will not give you advices. I don't answer questions. I don't do this. I give you my word. And you feel and experience the truth within you. The answer within you is correct. You follow your heart. But everyone who ever gives me a donation, I want to give them my best energy. I say nothing. I do quantum white light source energy healing on you. I say nothing. You have my word that I do it. Because you have given me the energy that I require and I'm so grateful for. I don't want to give you my best energy. It's beyond time and space. You don't need appointment. You don't need to stand still. I just give you my best energy. And don't tell me anything. I cannot heal you. I have to heal myself. But I will just stream and take my time and my energy to do healing on you. For every single donation I always do. And those who always support me, they get it always. In the span of every few days, I do it. So yes, I do it. But I cannot heal you. I cannot save you. You know, in you telling me nothing, I focus on you being free of all afflictions. I have to heal myself. I only realized it many times. I do healing on others. They work much better than on myself because with myself, I'm not, I'm controlling, forcing, resisting, making happen. Mind is afraid. But in others, I just focus on the being free of all afflictions. And if there was some miracle that happened sometime, it was their fate that healed them. Had nothing to do with me. My healing works on them as much as they work on themselves. You know, I have experience doing healing on somebody. Didn't help anything. And then I did healing on somebody else and miracle. Then I did on somebody else, didn't help anything. And I did it myself and I was like, oh, there was miracle there. I cannot do miracle on myself. So... <laughs> I'm sincere. My healing works as much as you and you work on yourself. If we are grateful, we are to heal everything because we are to eventually be grateful for everything what we don't have. For healing. You know, we receive everything of being grateful. But if we cannot be grateful, no one can heal us, no one can save us because we are ungrateful and pushing everything away. What we are not grateful for. And we get more of that what we are not grateful for. So let us be grateful. Thank you from the heart. Really. Every donation single, thank you from the heart. And everyone giving me love, thank you from the heart. Everyone ever did anything for me. I never forget. I'm grateful, child. For every little thing I have. Every great heart in my life. And I do my best to be grateful. For everything what my heart is of. Mind cannot be grateful. Mind is worried and negative. But I'm grateful from the heart. Like a little child. I give you my word. Poor namaste. Poor namaste.